hello everyone and welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing i hope you are having a very successful september so far it's monday and i've been so productive which i'm so happy about i hope you guys enjoyed my last vlog which was obviously my pregnancy vlog i forgot to mention actually that for those of you girlies who are watching this and you are pregnant and you're in your first trimester it does get better um i'm very much into my second trimester now and honestly from about week i want to say 16 15 i just like felt like a new woman i the sickness and the headache he went I just felt so much better and i got my energy back and yeah it does get so much better you feel like yourself again there is a period where like you literally just don't even feel like you but it does come back um so yeah i promise you that i know some people suffer the whole way through which is honestly just so annoying for those people like i it's probably annoying watching this and listening to me be like it gets better blah blah, blah. if you are one of those people that are just sick and feel crappy the whole way through but ultimately it's all worth in the end no matter if you're feeling good bad indifferent it's it's all a very very good thing and an exciting thing i just thought i'd pick up my camera and just start this vlog i don't really have kind of like a i don't really know what this vlog's gonna be but sometimes they're my favorite ones where like i'm just kind of cracking on with my week and i'm gonna take you guys along with me i am in like organizing mode at the moment i don't know what it is because i'm definitely not meant to be nesting right now that comes at the end but my thought process is i'm due very much early next year i won't give you a date but very very early next year and with christmas coming up and they do say the last bit of pregnancy is the worst bit of pregnancy i'm kind of like where i'm not huge at the moment and i have energy i'm quite like thinking maybe i get organized quite soon in like over, over the next few months just slowly doing bits and bobs here and there and then ideally i'd like everything organized and sorted for the baby by like beginning of december because because of christmas and the holidays and i see a lot of family and i'll be chilling out and i kind of just want that time just to literally chill and just enjoy christmas and waddle around basically is the plan um i would much rather be like moving and active and more like doing things more now just sorting through things i'm having a good clear out of my wardrobes i need to swap my wardrobes around because we're coming into autumn now which i'm kind of loving i would actually go to say autumn is like my second favorite i think summer is my favorite but autumn is my second favorite and I love it. I love coziness. I love the pumpkins. I love the colours on the trees. It's just, it it gives me all the feels. Yesterday we organised all of Jordan's wardrobes, um, which felt good. We chucked, well, I've just been to the charity shop now and given them loads of his old stuff. So yeah, we're um we're on a mission, guys. Mission. So I've got the NTAs on Wednesday as well, so you know, I've got lots of bits and bobs going on here and there this week. So I was like, perfect. I'll pick up my camera and I will do some vlogging. I have just got back from food shopping. So I'm going to have a bit of a kitchen organized now and a bit of a refill of everything. Everything needs a refill. Everything needs a top up. Everything needs to be put away and just a little, a little kitchen organized. So yeah, grab yourselves a coffee, a tea, light that candle, sit back, Get a nice warm blanket and enjoy.
oh my god i cannot tell you how good i feel after refilling and having a wipe down and sorting out my food cupboards topping everything up honestly if you guys are sitting down and you need to do this job after it will make you feel so good and for those of you who are wondering where i got like all my little like jars and stuff i just got them from etsy and then all of this stuff here um the kind of like storage in my sorry i'm so out of breath the storage in my cupboards are all from iDesign and um, you can get them off Amazon so yeah I just thought I'd let you know I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea now a little sit down <laughs> and um, get on with some emails my lunch today jacket potato with beans and cheese I swear to you this is like heaven jacket potatoes for me during this pregnancy have been uh, a godsend they taste so good everyone it is 7 30 on a tuesday a very gloomy tuesday autumn is definitely here i'm really enjoying it because i feel like it's super cozy right now but give it give it a couple of days and i'll be moaning at jordan saying i've had no sunshine or sunlight in my eyes for days anyway we are Well, I've been up since six, but I'm currently just sitting in bed with my pillow of life. Pregnant girlies out there. This is game changing. This pillow, it's like my best friend. Jordan actually gets a bit jealous of it because I literally hug it at night. I spoon this thing. I think it's called like BB hug me or something. Um, yeah, it is. It's an amazing pregnancy pillow. Um, I bought it off Amazon. I can link it below if you want. Um, but it is honestly unbelievable. My mum is coming up to help me today. This week is a weird week for me. I've actually got a bit of time, thankfully, for the first time in about three, four weeks. Um, I, I actually have a bit more of a relaxed week. So I'm like, it's the perfect week and the perfect weather. The perfect everything just to kind of start, like I say, like organising a little bit. So your mum's coming up to help me sort all of my wardrobes out because I obviously none of my stuff in my wardrobes right now. Firstly, there it's my summer my summer wardrobe, and secondly, nothing fits me. So there's just no point having it on hangers because it's just wasted space. So I need to vacuum pack everything and storage everything that doesn't fit me anymore. Have a good clear out and kind of reorganize more of like my autumn winter wardrobe and things that are going to fit me and wear. So it's it's a difficult one because it's like it's not just your standard oh I'm going to just change over my wardrobes. It's a full blown they'll probably be empty because nothing bloody fits me. But I don't want to get rid of the clothes because obviously I'm hoping one day I'll get back into them again. <laughs> We pray. So I'm just gonna have to basically storage everything somewhere in this house alongside storaging loads of baby stuff as well and things. So yeah, there isn't actually that much room in this flat in terms of like wardrobe space. Well, Jordan complains because he's like, Emily, there is loads of wardrobe space. You just have way too many clothes. You know what? I kind of like, I I kind of know where he's coming from. Um, I've even managed to nick one of his his wardrobes. But basically, this is, I'm rambling on, but basically when the baby comes, this is just a rented property. So we're not in our forever home or anything. So I'm not gonna bother with a whole nursery and decorating a nursery because firstly, the baby is going to be in this room for probably like six months. So I'm just going to adjust this room slightly. So I'm going to get like a nice changing area with a changing mat, lovely drawers, organise that kind of thing. Cot. And then upstairs I'm going to keep 
my wardrobe space slash spare bedroom just because firstly I'm gonna need people to stay my mum to stay and help me or anyone like if they want to babysit or you know not obviously at the beginning I'm talking like a good few months in but if like my mum or dad want to like are gonna babysit for me it's probably easier if they stay here there is one good thing about divorce people and that is the fact that my parents are obviously divorced and it's brilliant because it means you get double the babysitters if you think about it like my dad's my dad and his partner kelly they've been together for like 15 years so it's brilliant i've got one set of grandparents there then I've got mum and Mark, another set of grandparents there. We have got grandparents galore, which we are so lucky and I'm obviously very grateful. I've even got my, I've even still got my grandparents, which is going to help because they do say it takes a village to raise a child. And I kind of agree with that. I get it, especially as I'm going to still be working and stuff. So yes, and ideally I don't want to get a nanny. I'd just like to use my mum. <laughs> I'd rather pay my mum to be honest. Mum should be coming up. I've got a meeting at 10 and my mum's coming up after that. So I said to my mum, don't wear nice clothes. We are getting down and dirty. There's dust everywhere. We, it's, yeah, we need a good sort out. I'm now having my trusty bone broth, which has got me through pregnancy. This made me feel so much better in the first trimester. Every time I had one of these in the morning, I just, instantly felt better i don't know why but it's magical i have one of these and then i take my vitamins and then we're on to a healthy start to the day i also need to eat something substantial so i'm gonna have a bagel <laughs> i've been loving bagels at the moment bagel toasted bagels with marmite or like boiled eggs i either have that for breakfast um Whatever I fancy, really. I'm gonna get off the camera now because I'm gonna heat this up, drink it, and then have a shower. So I'll catch you guys once I'm showered and I look half presentable because right now, I actually look like my mother, um, which is a bad thing, but I've aged 20 years. Forget the food craving. My craving is spending money on random crap from Amazon Prime. I can't even remember what I've ordered this at this point, but I know it's gonna be good. I'm seriously procrastinating today, everyone. Let's see what stuff I ordered. Some wired headphones. <laughs> Some wired headphones, because I lost my ones, and I only like the wired ones. Don't ask me why, but the other ones hurt my ears. Oh my god. Okay. I got myself <laughs> a baby Frida nose snot sucker. Because apparently you have to blow snot out your baby's nose. I actually don't know which how you do it. Surely you don't suck it up. Oh, it's making me feel a bit queasy thinking about it. I got this because the this was really, really good for, I got recommended this by Jordan's sister. She said this was really good for cradle cap with a little bit of calendula oil. Apparently it's really does the job. So if you're currently watching this and your baby's got bad cradle cap, this with some calendula oil, organic calendula oil, apparently is the dream. Brand called Earth Mama. It's a american brand you can get it online but you can get it on amazon obviously hence why i'm opening this package but they do really really good like clean product the ingredients are really clean um so obviously it's very good for your baby's skin and also i might start using it as well on my tummy but they've sent me a really crap one like it's like it's got i think i've been given like the tester or something i don't know how my hauls have changed guys I went from buying stuff for myself in the house and Amazon now I'm buying and now I'm buying snot suckers and nipple cream. Diaper balm from Earth Mummer as well. This stuff is also incredible. The ingredients in it are really really good, so basically really help for nappy rash. This is also another recommendation. If your baby has bad nappy rash and pseudo cream and stuff, that is not good. You want to be using organic stuff. 
I got some of this toy and surface cleaner. It's basically like a safe one. And I also got the Earth Mama nipple butter. Can't wait to be using that. So yes, we've got a whole little Earth Mama set now. I do find that one of my most favorite things about being pregnant is like starting now to buy a few things. Like <laughs> it's getting me so excited. I know that I've got still quite a long time to go, but I've got so much work on over the next few weeks and I go to Singapore. By the time it's Christmas, I have so much stuff to organize anyway, like without being pregnant. So I'm like trying to, like I said earlier, piece it all out. Oh yeah, I got another eye design drawer. Because we have so many vitamins, Jordan and I, I was like, I want to put them all neatly in one of these storage boxes. So I've got another one of these, which is good. And then I got some more boxes, which are basically like, they're boxes with lids because I'm thinking, um, we've got loads of like keepsake things to do with Jordan and I and like little things I need to organize into boxes. Like, you know, like memory boxes almost. And I thought the baby's gonna want one as well. And I want kind of like a pregnancy one. So I just bought some boxes with lids. So it means I can put them away kind of where I don't see them, but when I get them out, they're all like, nothing's damaged. So yeah, that is my random Amazon haul. Um, <laughs> I can link everything below for you all. And um, yeah. My mum should be here any minute now. And then we're gonna crack on and hopefully get going with this wardrobe situation. My helper is here. Help is at hand. Oh my God, guys, can you actually bear this? So basically I'm going through all my wardrobes, taking out anything that isn't gonna fit me for the next year <laughs> and putting them in vacuum bags and then taking out my winter stuff and also i've got a bag of vintage stuff so stay tuned for that so this is the before and i will show you the after Math. yeah which is currently occurring we found a huge spider in here and now we can't find it again stop it because you'll make me jump it's not in here i told you it's not in here it must be it's not in here Look, come see. Then it's loose in this room. Yeah, well, don't scream. Because then you make me God. jump. God, it was a huntsman. Yeah, it wasn't a huntsman. Maybe it's in there, in one of those, yeah. in the, one of the things. Oh, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not bloody putting my fingers in. No, he's not in there. Well, she's not. I can't bear it. <gasps> no. It can't be real. It can't be real, guys. It was a disaster. It, it wasn't a disaster, but like, I wasn't as productive as what I wanted. The, the spider, it threw me off. Mum then found it on her. It was clung to her clothes. Well, I'm, we've, had, we've had a right old afternoon of it. I'm currently sitting in a dress, a ball gown. Don't ask. So I was just trying on my dresses for the NTAs tomorrow. This is, I can confirm one I'm not wearing. So I'm just sitting in my kitchen currently, contemplating life, uh, dressed in a ball gown. So, you know, I don't want to show you the finished room and everything yet because it's not done yet. So I want to show you everything by the end of the week because like, then I can hopefully show you when it's all properly done. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Bro. I'm getting a well needed glow up. I'm getting my hair done, I'm getting my makeup done. I'm probably gonna have a nap. Look at all the rubbish. Look at all of that. And that's only some of it. There's loads upstairs. So I do feel very, very productive, but it's also exhausted me, if you can't tell. Bye. <laughs> if you can't tell by the state of me. I'm a goner. Right, I'm gonna go stop complaining now. I'm gonna get off this vlog and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Sorry, it's been a bit of a hectic day. I'm still a mess. The glow up continues. My hair is done though, which I do really, really like. 
And now I have Charlotte Tilbury coming round to do my makeup, which will make me feel like a princess again. <laughs> Funny, can we just take a moment as to what I look like this morning versus now? Charlotte Tilbury has done dreams to my face. I'm 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 in shock. I'm in disbelief at this point. I had one of their pro artists come over and do my makeup. It was amazing. If any of you have got weddings or anything, you can book the Charlotte Tilbury artists. And then you'll get this, a full-blown transformation. The dress I am wearing, oh, let me move this out of the way. The dress I am wearing is a Karen Millen dress, just with some Zara shoes. And this has got like a feather detail at the bottom. I mean, we're going for quite plain for black um, this year, just because obviously I'm pregnant and I find black the most comfortable colour and the most flattering colour for me to wear. I'm about to order my taxi now. It'll probably take me about 500 hours to get there. I'll try and get some footage whilst I'm there as well. I'm not going to take my camera, but I am going to bring... Actually, no, I think I will take my camera because I can get some good pics on this. Anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is a few days since uh, the NTAs, I only but apologise for the lack of content I actually got whilst I was there. I was busy doing Instagrams and TikToks that I actually, I will admit, forgot to vlog. However, it you, you haven't missed out on too much. I did in fact leave at like half nine. A late night for me is, is ten o'clock. 10 o'clock is way past my bedtime. Um, however, sorry, the light keeps changing because it's almost like sunsetty and a bit cloudy outside. So I do apologise for that as well. So sorry if the light keeps changing. But I thought I could get ready with you guys. I'm getting ready for something very exciting actually. And you all might think I'm like a bit wild for this. But <laughs> Jordan and I are actually going to Harrods. Um, in a minute to choose and pick our bugaboo pram. I can't believe those words are firstly coming out of my mouth, but also some of you must be sitting here thinking, oh, you're getting it way too early. To be honest, I am 24 weeks pregnant, no, 23 weeks pregnant. Bugaboo were doing like a limited edition thing with Harrods. So I just thought I can just get it and then we can put it, we just won't put it up or anything. We can put it in storage and stuff. So we're off to choose that, which is obviously very exciting. We're going to go test run some buggies. I can't believe I've actually got to this point in my life where I'm I'm doing this kind of thing. It's really happening. I'm an adult. I'm growing a child inside of me. As you know that Charlotte Tilbury did my makeup for me for the NTAs and they gave me some really good products to try. This Charlotte Tilbury... 
beautiful skin foundation this is in shade five and then i've just gone on with this ilia which is a new brand guys but if you haven't tried them they're really really good they sell ilia in space nk and if i remember rightly don't fact check me on this but i think all their products are quite clean so they're very good for the skin which is obviously good for pregnancy because you kind of want clean products when you're pregnant also so many products that you can't actually use when you're pregnant which i didn't even know about um so if you are pregnant and you're watching this check your skincare because there were loads of things that i actually couldn't use I'm putting on this beautiful skin which is charlotte tilbury i have used this for a long time to be fair i have this in the two medium shade which is quite dark but i need that bronze glow i'm already feeling like my winter skin is <laughs> coming into like coming into play i can just feel myself being pale again something exciting happening tomorrow is that my mum and i are off to singapore which i'm very very excited about we're going on a little trip together to singapore for four days we're going to watch the f1 and we're going to visit singapore so we're going to do like loads of different fun things and it will just be really nice nice memories for mum and i obviously before the baby's here he's not stopped asking me questions about this for a solid month at this point and bless her heart it's very very sweet but it's also very very irritating she's asked me a thousand questions and i don't even know the answer to half of her questions so you know she's also told me that she's getting there like four hours before the flight i was like is that necessary i am i'm unsure just put this fair pale it's their like under eye concealer thing um, I don't I will link all the products for you below. It's just gone really dark now for Absolutely no reason at all. I'm now just quickly putting on a little bit of this glowgasm wand Which I absolutely love. I've had this for years I have just sent me a new one and there is nothing like a fresh wand from charlotte tilbury because I don't know about you but a lot of them do like to explode well, I don't turn the lids properly um i don't lock the lids so they love to explode it in my or just get like really gammy so it's very good to have a fresh one like this week i've had one of those weeks where i have got lots done but also nothing done so in terms of obviously the beginning of this vlog was very much me sorting out stuff but the bedroom up here is not yet complete by any stretch bathroom organization is still very much under underway so i've kind of i've, I've started everything because i did order these bathroom cabinets Top. yeah i'm just gonna overline my lips god knows what i'm gonna wear to this but jordan's gonna meet you there after work and yeah it's all beginning to become very very real and exciting i must admit i'm thoroughly enjoying starting to get and prep and buy quite a few baby bits i've also been watching quite a few youtube channels on people reviewing stuff because there is so much out there at the moment and so much option on like prams and high chairs and you know cots and whatever it may be it is really handy to 
watch youtube videos on what people have recommended and what they use after they have a baby so i'll make sure i do that for you guys as well on products that i actually think and would buy again because i have found those videos so helpful i am now just going to quickly put on a bit of this lipstick which is runway royalty this shade i've never used before i always just go with pillow talk but i actually think i prefer this <gasps> guys in this light i'm sorry can we just actually take a moment for my makeup I don't know if it's because my skin is like so much better at the moment or if it is at the actual the makeup I'm using and the brands I'm using but I'm so impressed with this. My epic fail of DIY bathroom cabinet storage situation. It's just not big enough. Um, it won't suffice. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put that. I've got my new Decenio prints on the way. These are coming down. I'm changing the, these. I have finally got four new ones for up there, which I'm so sick to death of looking at that blank old wall that I'm hoping it will look really, really nice. I hope I chose the right prints though. There were so many to choose from. It took me hours. So I pray that should be on, they should be kind of like on the way now. So once I'm back from Singapore and I've like, completed the tasks or i'm ready to complete all the tasks i started in this vlog i can also vlog that for you and show you all kind of like the glow up the glam up hey before i leave i just thought i'd show you my outfit because why the hell not this guys this used to be big on me as in falling down now actually borderline these are gonna it's gonna come undone let's be real but this is my outfit <laughs> Oh, it's just a little Zara number. It's just a little Zara jumpsuit. And then I got this bag, which is brand new from a brand called RSPV. And it is so lovely. Honestly, it's so big. It fits so much stuff in and kind of just goes with everything. So that is the outfit I'm going for. I just need to put some earrings in and then I'm ready to go. I am on my way to Harrods and excuse me, sorry. Who ordered this delightful weather in September? Can someone tell me who ordered this? Because I'm loving it. It's I've come out without a jacket on. I'm actually boiling in this car. People are looking at me vlog, um, which is obviously cringing me out slightly. I must admit, I can't breathe in my outfit very well. Um, but the fact that I'm not wearing a jacket with it has made me very, very happy. I'm meant to be meeting Jordan there at five. It's now half four. I bet you... £20,000, he will be late. Uh, Jordan has this thing where he's just half an hour late for everything. He has zero, like, you know some people just have no concept of, of time. Two types of people in this world. You have like, the, you get anxiety if they're late, that's me. I'm not good if I'm late. I like to leave early for everything, I like to be on time. If I'm like even 15 minutes late, I freak out. Or you have the Jordans of the world, um, and a couple of my friends are similar, where you just have no concept of time. And even if you're like half an hour late, it does not phase you. Your pulse does not rise. You know, sweat beads do not happen. They don't occur. And it baffles me. Like, traveling with someone like that is quite, it's actually quite a painful experience because Jordan's very, very relaxed, whereas I'm very militant with things. So I guess it's actually quite a good, ma like it's a good mix because I kind of make him on time for things and he just chills me out slightly. Yeah, I reckon Jordan will be approximately 25 to 30 minutes late, but let's see. <laughs> in fact late how many minutes late jordan five no 15. it's actually 20. <laughs> here we are we have it in green black and this color over here as well which we are going to go for the black they don't have it in stock at the moment but the black is the one um just because i feel like it is more unisex 
and I'll just get more wear out of the black, I know I will. <laughs> what did you just say? I said nothing. No, tell everyone we just said it's key. We've now stopped off for some pizza and pasta. I wish I could have a glass of champagne. But I can't. So instead I've got sparkling water. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, I feel like this vlog hasn't like, it's not ended very well because I wanted to like the house to be organized and show you all the befores and then afters, but to be continued, it will get done. Um, it's a process. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and my next vlog will be out very, very soon.